Hey, what's going on guys? Today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to install a new hard drive on your desktop computer. Now this particular one is an Alienware desktop model, but yours probably won't have access like this. If you do have an Alienware in the specific model, the latch is right up here. You pull that up, forgive a little bit of the dust there, and the side pulls down and then you pull that out and this opens up like this. If you do not have this model, Yours will have a screws on the back right here. They're little twisty kind of thumb screws. And there'll probably be one up here and at least one here at the bottom. Untwist those and you're gonna pull the metal of the case straight back. And then you might have a little bit of ridges here, but it will pull back so the notches can be released and then pull it out. So once you actually do see your motherboard here, we have a slot. This one is pretty easy, but yours is gonna be similar to this if not the same. What you're gonna probably have are hard drive compartments over here on the side here. Mine are down below right here. What we're looking for is the simplest thing without purchasing a new cable. If you do, very simple, I will try to have it linked in the description box below. You're gonna need a SAT2 cable here. And this of course is for the newer hard drives. And what that is, is that is your data cable that goes right on this port of the hard drive. Just make sure obviously you're slipping it on correctly so the gold is touching the gold right here. Now this one is going to be this one right here. That is going to be from your power supply and that's what's going to give you power. Again from the power supply your power supply will be down here probably easier access than mine. So what you want to do is you want to have a free plug from your power supply. If you don't you might need to get a connector or you've run out of available plugs from your power supply. I thankfully actually do have an open slot for mine, but most computer motherboards are able to handle a lot of hard drives and not to mention the power supply as well. Okay, so if you have no cables lying around that are ready to use, then what you wanna do is you wanna look for, and it's gonna be a little bit tighter with this one because the cable management is so precise on this one, but majority of the time it's gonna be bottom of the motherboard. You're gonna come down, and again, it's kind of a mess in there. I'm sorry about that, but normally it's bottom right of the computer motherboard, and you're gonna see plugins like you see right where I'm pointing to right back there. Those are your SAT2 plugins. What you want to do if you don't have a cable there, buy a cable, plug it in, and draw it to wherever you want to put your hard drive. And then obviously the power supply plug will come directly from your power supply. You might need an adapter. It depends what the plug layout looks like. So once you have those established, I have myself a two terabyte hard drive right here, Western Digital. I'm going to go ahead and slip my prongs on where I showed you right on the back right there and then we're going to go ahead and obviously just slip it in like that and you want to have it level so the discs are spinning level most of your towers will have like little clip outs like this where you can just push them in slide them out etc so let's go ahead and connect it all right now with it connected we're going to put our cover back on the case and then we're gonna fire up our computer. Now, if you do have issues firing up your computer, you have to go in the BIOS boot menu and choose whatever hard drive you have Windows on. Because sometimes if you are installing another hard drive with Windows already installed on it, it will try to boot from a different hard drive. So just make sure that your computer is booting from the hard drive that has Windows on it. That will be in the boot menu of BIOS. And it might take your computer some time before it downloads the proper software for the hard drive. Now upon starting up, if you do get an error message and Windows doesn't kick on, it will ask you to do Control-Alt-Delete. Boot Manager is missing. And this is where my personal computer, you need to boot options. So on this screen, I would hit F12. Let me go ahead and just show you here. So boot manager is missing, control, alt, delete. I'm gonna have to set the camera down here while I do that real quick. Once I do control, alt, delete, my computer will go ahead and fire back on. All right, then this menu will come back on and then go ahead and just start mashing down F12. In my case, yours might be a little bit different, but your screen will say it. Sometimes it might come up quick, so you gotta do it quick. So I'm just gonna go ahead and mash down F12. There we go, and there is our boot menu right here. Now, you have to know what hard drive has Windows. 
I know for a fact it's Hitachi, that's my windows, so I'm gonna go ahead and just crank down, and I'm gonna go ahead and hit return. And that will start Windows. And if this happens to you again, then you'll have to go in the boot menu again and make sure that your correct one, my case, Hitachi is number one, meaning that once the computer does start, it will load from hard drive one, which is my Hitachi, which yours would be your Windows one as well. Your computer might have this pop up as well, installing the hard drive software. Alrighty, after I started my computer, it did its little search thing here where it was installing the driver software. And now it says my WDC long name there is ready for use. So what we do here, let's go ahead and double check it. Let's come down to our start menu. We'll go ahead and hit computer here. This will fire up. Alrighty guys, the software installed correctly, but it's not showing up in my computer when I click on start and I go to computer, it's not showing up here. So what we have to do is because the hard drive, this might be a case in your circumstances, might not, you might be all good to go. But if you don't see it here, we actually have to assign the drive a letter. Because I have so many hard drives in here, it might have got confused if it was the same letter. So we're gonna navigate again. This is a two terabyte hard drive. We can see right here. 1863 gigabytes, not quite obviously two full terabyte, but I'll give them that. Give them a few, give about 140 gigs or so of whatever they do. Okay, so how to navigate to this menu here, we're gonna have to go to computer management. You're gonna go ahead and click down here, your start button. You go ahead and click that, and then you right click computer. When you right click that, the second one down will say manage. Go ahead and click on manage and then this menu will come up and then you double click on disk management in the left menu right here because this won't be shown but you click or double click on disk management right here in the left menu. It'll take about 30 seconds, this screen will come up and then what we have to do is we have to then locate the proper drive, in my case, the second one. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna right click on this one and we need to change drive letter and paths, which is the one right here. So change, click on that. And then we see this menu right here. We're gonna go ahead and click on add right here. Click on add, add a new drive letter or path for simple volume, assign the following letter. It's pretty putting in the F drive here. So we'll go ahead and just continue with F. We'll go ahead and hit okay. It'll take a little bit of time, we will spin. And there we go right there, it assigned the F drive. Now, we're gonna go ahead and close down disk management. We're just gonna X out of that. We're gonna back up and we're gonna see if it has arrived in here, which it has now, absolutely fantastic. 1.81 terabytes free of 1.81. If anybody knows why they take away so many gigabytes or do they just round up for product packaging, because that's a two terabyte drive. Let me know in the comments below. Hopefully the video has helped you guys install it on your Windows desktop computer. You guys smash that thumbs up button if it has, subscribe to the channel and do all those good things because you are awesome and you have a good day. Take care, bye-bye. <laughs>